Hey everyone, um, I was unaware of before this week, but apparently uh, because of the top rated cable news program in America, uh, this has to be said. If someone is a veteran and they lose both of their legs in combat for the United States of America, and then, after they lose those both of their legs and some mobility in their arm, they seek medical waivers so they can continue to serve. They love America. And their family can trace back their military service to the Revolutionary War. They definitely love America. Um, apparently, Tucker Carlson, though, does not believe this is so, uh, because of his um, unbelievably horrible attacks on Senator Duckworth of Illinois. Um, I tend to believe that the only reason Tucker Carlson um, attacked Senator Duckworth um, is because she is being vetted for the vice presidency at the moment by Sen uh, former Vice President Joe Biden. Uh, and apparently he's a pretty serious contender. Um, and the more I read about Senator Duckworth, um, I think that she would make a fantastic uh, choice. Um, here are a couple of things about Senator Duckworth. She is a veteran. She's a combat veteran. Uh, and she you can question a lot of things um, about her, her policy positions, but you cannot question her patriotism. She gave both her legs for this country. And then, as I said, sought medical waivers to continue to serve in the military. She began a career of public service, serving first vet in veterans uh, affairs organizations at the state and federal level, was elected to Congress, received her PhD, and gave birth to two children, and was elected to the United States Senate. All of this after she lost both of her legs. in a war in a foreign country where she was fighting for the United States of America. The country she loves so much and has given so much for, she literally has two prosthetic legs. Um, I think she would make a tremendous vice president. Um, and I'll even make somewhat of a benign point about it. The last time that a Democrat was in the White House, it was a, a Democrat from Delaware and a Democrat from Illinois. And it turned out pretty pretty good for America. Uh, so, maybe Joe Biden uh, should go with the senator from Illinois. Uh, when the senator from Illinois picked Joe Biden to be his vice president, it, it was a good match. And I, I think this would be a good match, too. Um, she has really impressed me the more I learn about her. And I, I think she would make a fantastic vice president. And it is uncalled for that Tucker Carlson attacks on her and that Fox News has not fired Tucker Carlson for his attacks on Senator Duckworth. In, in, in a normal time and place in our politics, those type of attacks uh, would have led to Tucker Carlson's ouster at Fox News. Tucker Carlson has not apologized for his attacks. Oh no, he's doubled down on them. And that's shameful. It's a shameful state of our politics that that's where it's at. I hope that in January, uh, when, if everything goes as I hope it does, 
uh, Joe Biden is sworn in as the next president, um, our politics will return to some semblance of normalcy and decency uh, will begin to make a return. Uh, but I fear the stench of Trumpism and Trump-like rhetoric will remain. And um, it's very shocking that um, apparently Tucker Carlson's being mentioned as a potentially serious candidate for president in 2024 on the Republican side. I, I, I've said this on this show before. Um, at the moment, I kind of consider myself a Republican um, in exile. Uh, but if Tucker Carlson is taken seriously uh, by the Republican Party, um, I guess I'll become someone without a party. Or just maybe a very awkward Democrat. Who knows? That's all.